Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Universal Studios Orlando. I wanted to come out today and ride some rides, eat some food, and do a little shopping. There's a wand that I've been wanting to get since I first saw it, and I figured today is going to be the day. Anywho's, let's go do this. Nothing like that feeling of walking through these archways with the amazing cinematic music actually playing. Gets you all excited for a day at Universal. Halloween Horror Nights is just a few days away and I am so excited. I already have my frequent fear pass and I'm starting to rock my uh, Beetlejuice Roosevelt shirts. I love these shirts. I got a couple of them already planned and ready to go for when Halloween Horror Nights actually starts and it's just going to be a great season. I have not been out to Universal Studios in quite a while, so this is the first time seeing all the Halloween Horror Night props popping up all over the park, and I'm excited. It's getting me all excited. Other than getting excited for Halloween Horror Nights and actually buying a wand that I want so bad, Duff has released their Oktoberfest beer, so I gotta come out and I have to get myself a Duff Oktoberfest, and then we're gonna do a little wand shopping. Lights, camera, action, Eddie's Revenge. This is gonna be one of the scare zones and like I said, I'm just excited. I can smell the fog already. I'm like so pumped for this. Just talking about it and being here and seeing all of the decorations and props is just getting me so much more excited. I had to swing into the pass holder lounge and get my UOAP magnet. Look at this one, it's very colorful. And all of a sudden I see SpongeBob and all of his friends outside. So on our way over to Springfield, we'll say hello to those guys. Stop. Bikini bottom. <laughs> Woo. The wand that I'm going to be looking at getting is probably my all-time favorite wand. I can't wait to show you guys. I got so, so excited when I saw this. I was like, I need to get over there immediately just to get it. And I can't wait to just use it. I can't wait because it's going to be interactive. So we're going to be able to cast spells in Diagon Alley and over at Hogsmeade. And it's, I'm just pumped. I'm pumped for everything today. And here we are, we made it to Springfield, USA. Time for a Dufftoberfest and just relax and hang out. It's a beautiful day out today too. I hope we don't get any rain. Maybe the rain's over on that side. Stay away. And this is exactly where we need to be. Oh, I think there's a spot on the bar right up here. I think I'm gonna go grab it. First Dufftoberfest of the season. So cheers to you guys. And now it's time to enjoy. That is so good. So refreshing. And I'm sitting right in front of the Dufftoberfest taps. I wish I could get a tap like that. That would be amazing to have. I, I don't even know what I would do with it. I would probably just collect it. But man, this is probably one of my favorite beers whenever I come for Halloween Horror Nights. After a nice Dufftoberfest, I feel like since we're over here, maybe we go ride E.T. before we head to Diagon Alley to buy the wand. I love riding E.T. and it's right here. It's only two minutes away. But great Scott, look who is out. Doc. Can we take a selfie, Doc? No. No selfie. Because there's two of us. That's a Delphi. Delphi. Take a Delphi? I'll take a Delphi. Oh, I like it. I like your hat. Thank you. It's adorable. Well, I just had a uh, hat with the flag in the Oh really? Yeah. What's your name? Nate. Nate. Pleasure to meet you. Let's get that Delphi. Let's get that Delphi. Wow. I was just schooled in proper uh, photography by uh, the doc. He totally taught me a new word, a Delphi. A Delphi. The Twisted Tater Stand has its lights on, ready to go. And you notice it's like a Beetlejuice themed because the Beetlejuice house is actually gonna be back here. I did do it last year and it was my favorite and I'm so excited to do it again this year. And that's why I got all these Roosevelt shirts that I love and I love wearing these shirts so they kind of keep me in themed with things. Oh wow, is the Mystery Machine out as well? There is a lot happening today. The dock's out, the Mystery Machine is out and we're about to ride E.T. One thing I've always admired about the Mystery Machine are those hubcaps. Look at that. Can you imagine having those on regular cars? I wish they made things like that. I don't know if they do or if they'd actually stay on, but I think they're very fancy. 
Now it's time to head on into ET, and I can smell it from here, and I love the smell of ET. Does anybody else love the smell of ET? I mean, on a comparison, the smell of ET compared to like Pirates of the Caribbean or Rome burning at Spaceship Earth, which one do you guys think is the ultimate theme park smell? I don't know, it's a tough call, but I do love ET. The mystery, the suspense, the adventure, all lies within E.T. Adventure. And it was a walk-on, nobody in line, so we're gonna get row one. How cool is that? I, I ran into some friends too. Hi friends. Hello. So we're gonna ride E.T. together. We've <laughs> uh, got some unauthorized people entering the base. He was such an amazing ride. Definitely one of the must-dos whenever I come to Universal. And as soon as we came off the ride, guess who's out meeting and greeting people? The whole gang is out. How awesome is that? Not only did we get a picture with the mystery machine, but now everyone's here. Hi, friends. Yeah, there are the whole gangs here. Enough with the Scooby business though. Let's get on over to buying the wand. This is what my main motivation was for coming out today. Even though you don't need a motivation to come out to Universal Studios, but this is the main reason I really wanted to come today. Now, I probably could have bought this wand at many of different places, but I really wanted to go get it in the Wizardly World. Whether it be here in Diagon Alley or over on Hogsmeade, I'm hoping that they actually are in stock. I'd be so disappointed if they weren't. There are multiple different places where you can buy a wand, so we're gonna see which ones actually have it, and maybe get in line at Ollivander's. I would like to do that. I think I haven't done that experience probably in a good like two or three years. But first, we gotta make our way into Diagon Alley. The first stop that I made is Wands by Gregorwich, and they don't have the wand that I'm looking for. Now, you don't choose the wand, the wand chooses you, but I honestly, 100% feel this wand has chosen me. Since the wand isn't there, the next spot we're gonna check out is Ollivander's, and if they don't have it, we're gonna have to do some search and maybe hop over to Hogsmeade. Here it is, Ollivander's Makers of Fine Wands. And we'll take a look-see. It's always very crowded in this store, but hopefully they might have the wand we're looking for. They look like they got a lot of them. Strike two, wow. Oh boy, I, I'm, I'm starting to feel like we might get the wand that we're looking for today. And uh, now I think we'll head on over to Hogsmeade. Uh-oh, but first. Thank you! It looks like we're gonna have to hop the Hogwarts Express and head on over to Hogsmeade to actually get the wand that we're looking for. I don't mind, I wanted to go over there anyway. Maybe ride Hagrid's and the Velocicoaster, that would be amazing. And uh, yeah, still continue on looking. And we have made it to Hogsmeade. I love it over here. It's really hard to say which one is my favorite area. 
You know what I mean? Let me know in the comments what part of Harry Potter or the Wizardly World is your favorite. I would have to say Nocturne Alley is my favorite. Actually, I really love it back there. And I think I found it. Oh, I see it. I'm so excited. We got it. I am so excited. All right, it's time to open this bad boy up because I kind of just want to hold it. The wand that I have been looking for and I really feel like chooses me is Rubius Hagrid's umbrella wand and look at the size of the box it is huge oh my lord and it's actually a functionally oh it's like it's an actual umbrella this is so amazing i don't know if it's interactive but we're gonna open it up and just kind of hang out in front of hogwarts with hagrid's wand now it's kind of funny though because Hagrid got expelled from Hogwarts and they uh, destroyed his wand and he kept pieces and he pieced it together with the little pink umbrella. I really love this. I am so excited to have it and to just like kind of hang it up on my wall and bring it to the parks. All right, we're taking the top off. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at this. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's almost too beautiful. I don't want to take it out. But oh my lord, we got to take it out to take photos. I love it. And you guys know how I am with umbrellas. Look at this. It's going to spring. Oh yeah. Oh, it springs up just like an actual umbrella. This is so amazing. <laughs> this is so beautiful. The perfect wand for me. I really, really do love it. <laughs> Now, I don't think it's an interactive wand. I don't think so, because it's technically a prop and a fully functioning umbrella, but I love this. It's $100, so I paid $100 for this, and I got no discount because it's a collectible, and I really think it's every single penny well spent because I really adore this, and I don't know. I just, as soon as I saw it, it's not new. It's been out since 2020, and it was originally $75, so they raised the price because because it was popular, but when I seen it was back in the parks again, I knew I had to come out and get it. And now I just feel so excited. Just walking around and I'd be pointing at things. And you can actually use it as an umbrella because you guys know how I am with umbrellas. So this is perfect for me. And it, I feel like it's gotta be one of the longest wands you can actually buy. Now I think the best way to celebrate our new wand is maybe riding Hagrid's motorbike adventure. Look at this. It's so amazing. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to fit this in the locker, though. Oh, I should have thought about that before I actually bought it. Maybe it comes apart, but Rapero! <laughs> well, good news. I can ride Hagrid's because they will hold it for you at the exit. But instead of hopping right on the ride, I think I need to get a butterbeer. A little hot and, uh, yeah, just cool off before we actually go on Hagrid's motorbike adventure. You can actually get butter beer in a lot of different locations, but I love to get my butter beer inside Hogshead here Just because it's just kind of cool and it really fits in with the theming There we go. We got my nice butter beer. I got my Umbrella wand and we're just hanging out in here in guest only beyond this point. Sounds like there's a lot of ruckus happening up there anyway Butterbeer stashes are some of my favorite, so hopefully I end up with one after taking my first sip. <laughs> oh, look at that. All finished. Let's go ride Hagrid's now. So they said they treat it like it is an umbrella and they'll just hold it for me when I get up there. I felt kind of bad because I have the gigantic box with it too. But I mean, it's probably going to be the only time I'll be having the box with me. I'll keep that at home and just bring the umbrella. It's actually only a 45 minute wait. I feel like that's amazing for Hagrid. If this is 45 minutes, then hopefully Velocicoaster won't be too bad and we can ride that afterwards. Look at it go though. Also, it's really nifty that they have the single rider line open. So basically that 45 minute wait might only be like a uh, five minute wait. That's what it's kind of looking like because there's nobody in single rider line. Oh, I spoke too soon. 
The funny thing is, is I thought if we did the single rider line, we would probably get on faster. But in all honesty, I think we're just going to be sitting here on a staircase for 45 minutes instead of waiting in line. Hopefully it's not longer than 45 minutes. Oh, I'm sitting on a staircase waiting to ride. Have it's motorbike ride. Well, I really believe that the uh, single rider was about the same weight as standby. But it wouldn't make any difference. I'm by myself anyway. But just for future references, in case you guys check it out. Once I get up here, I'm going to hand them my bag. And they're going to actually hold on to it until I get off the motorbike. You can't take any loose articles on there. So anything that can't fit in your pockets, you can't bring. So that means I'll have to put the camera in the bag. And then uh, just pick it up once I get done. And did you see Hagrid holding his umbrella wand actually on the ride? That makes it, I think this one needs to get a little bit dirty though. I feel like I need to match his color. His isn't that pink. It looks like it's definitely worn out and had plenty of spells casted on it. When we got off Hagrid's, the frog choir is actually playing. I decided to grab myself another butter beer. But a toast to the butter beer I love most, butter beer. <laughs> 
I hope it doesn't give me a belly ache since we're gonna ride Velocicoaster next. Ooh, I wonder if they're gonna be nice enough and hold my Hagrid umbrella. I don't know, like, I, I should have thought this a little bit better or maybe came with a friend so that we could, like, swap out. Looks like we've been bamboozled. Velocicoaster is delayed. Isn't that sad? Oh well, maybe we'll just like kind of hang out in the area. If we hear it up and going, we'll run over here. And then we might not have to wait. This music definitely doesn't match this sign. Like whenever I hear the Jurassic Park like music, I feel like I'm about to embark on a great adventure. And now it just says a delayed adventure. I did actually go up and ask and they said that uh, since I have the wand or umbrella that they could just hold it up on the platform. So it's really nice to know that things that don't fit in lockers they can accommodate, especially things you buy in the parks. Like, that makes me feel better. <laughs> maybe now we'll head on over to Seuss Landing. I wouldn't mind maybe taking a spin on the Carasusel or even do the Cat in the Hat or the Seuss Trolley Train. Yeah, that's what we'll do. The Seuss trolley train is a perfect ride to just relax. I always say it's kind of like the people mover of Universal Studios. And boy, my hat is soaked. You know, these hats, they're only like uh, 95 or 100% paper. So like anytime I sweat, it literally just goes like that. In fact, I don't even know what this one is. Oh, it's 100% it's paper, 100% paper. And I'm bald. But here we are, Seuss landing. And I think it's time we hop aboard the trolley train. And I think my express pass is now on because it's past four o'clock. A lot of people don't know the Seuss trolley train has two different tracks. This side of the track actually takes you mainly outdoors, but the one that I'm going on to actually takes you inside the restaurant and like a big top circus. And I like this side a little bit better. relaxing ride I love the Seuss trolley train I think it's just really cool and relaxing and being able to ride on both tracks is probably ideal so you can get a hang of which one you like but I like the one we did I like going through the big top look at this when we came out cat in the hat thing one and thing two they're dancing what a performance thank you Woo! <laughs> what an amazing day to be here today. Look at the wait times. Hogsmeade, Hogwarts Express, 15 minutes. Jurassic Park, 35. Hagrid's, 45. Storm Force is open. Oh, wow, I didn't even know Storm Force opened. Then they've got uh, Forbidden Journey, 15 minutes. Flight of the Hippogriff, 35. Everything just seems about 45 minutes or less. Nothing higher than that. Wow. 
Yeah, 45 minutes for Hagrid's is the highest wait time. I can't even believe that. But now that Storm Force is open, I don't think I've ever done that ride. Storm Force is literally the only ride at Universal Studios I have never ridden. Only because it's been closed most of the times I've been here and I think it's open. So I'm kind of excited about this. That is amazing. Right next to the Hulk, there she is. Storm Force Acceleration. Basically, it's like a very faster tiki cup, I would guess. Like, it just basically spins round and round. But this is amazing. I'm so happy about this. Oh boy, it's taking off now. Oh boy, this is intense. What? It's like lightning too. One of the things I noticed that's different is they have a lightning effect and also they add wind. So they, they have these fans that actually make it seem like you're in like a weather bubble. And look, the ride hasn't even started yet and I can actually Turn us around and around and around. <laughs> oh boy. The fans turned on. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> That was so much fun. And it doesn't matter if you spin or not, you're still spinning. Very, very more wild than the teacups. Not even close to the teacups, honestly. Like, so if you don't like spinning rides, don't even attempt that ride. Like, I didn't, I didn't spin the wheel at all and I was sliding all over the place. It was fun, don't get me wrong, but it's actually a very intense ride. I think now we need to start making our way back out to City Walk. What a fun, adventurous day we've had so far though. I'll tell you what, I've had a great day. I might stop at Starbies though, grab myself a pumpkin spice latte if they have it. I don't know if they started serving them in the parks or not yet. I've gotten them locally, but we'll find out when we get in here. So I've only ever had the pumpkin cream cold brew. I never had the pumpkin spice latte. Everyone says it's so good. So I decided to actually try a pumpkin spice latte, but iced. Definitely need an iced beverage on this kind of day. And here it is. Look at that. That looks really, really good though. I mean, I really might like this a lot. Today has been a day full of Dufftoberfest, butter beers, and PSLs. Oh yeah, that's good. It's very strong. Ooh, don't taste really much pumpkin there. Definitely a strong coffee though. Holy moly. I think I'm gonna have to shake it off. Shake it, a shake it, a shake, shake, shake. Shake it, a shake, shake, shake. And I guess with that pumpkin spice latte, we are done here. Look, I got my umbrella out. I don't need it out, but I feel good. I feel like, Rapero! Isn't it so, I love this. I absolutely love this one. Anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. Aguamente. <laughs>